Hello and welcome to Watch Releases Recap for the week of December 1st until December the 8th. Let's begin with Alpina and their new Alpiner Extreme Chronograph. Alpiner Extreme Collection is a collection within Alpina watches that is known for their integrated bracelets and their sort of over-the-top, over-engineered type cases. In fact, a couple of weeks ago, I talked about this collection because they brought out a new California dial. This time they're introducing a chronograph. This chronograph comes with two dial options. There is your standard panda with black subdials, and there is a reverse panda with a dark dial and white subdials. The case of the watch is made out of stainless steel. It has a reasonable 41 millimeter case diameter, but don't let that fool you. A lot of these integrated bracelet watches tend to wear larger. So you do have to try one on to see if it's right for your wrist. It is also a pretty slim watch, 14.3 millimeters in thickness. I mean, it's not overly thin, but if you consider the fact that this has an automatic chronograph movement, it's actually powered by the Celita SW510, which is a movement with an extended 62 hours of power reserve and beats at 28,800 vibrations per hour. So having it be under 14 and a half millimeters is a good thing. A lot of these automatic chronograph watches tend to be thicker. The watch also comes with 100 meters of water resistance and I think a pretty good styling. The only thing that I'm not too crazy about is this date window between the 4 and the 5 o'clock position. I would prefer this watch without a date window or a date window integration like in some of the other chronographs that I'm going to mention later on in this video. I think this is a good addition to their Alpiner Extreme lineup. Alpina tends to be a bit on the affordable side and this watch is no exception. I think it's reasonably priced just under 3000 Swiss francs, which I think is about right for an automatic chronograph watch with these type of specs. Moving on to the next release, the new Formax Baby Reef Diver Collection. A while ago, I did a review of Formax Reef Diver on this channel, and I was really impressed with that watch. I think Formax is leading the field in their engineering and in their construction quality. However, one of the problems that I had with that watch is that it was a little bit too large. I think it was 43 and a half millimeters. If you have the wrist for it, great. But a lot of people don't like these big watches or they simply don't have the wrist to pull it off. Well, good news is that Formax has listened to that feedback and now this Reef Diver collection is available in a more conservative 39 and a half millimeters case diameter. This model has also slimmed down. Now it's only 11 millimeters in thickness and 45 and a half millimeters lock to lock distance. I haven't tried one on yet, but I believe that these watches will be super comfortable on the wrist. Everything else about the watch in terms of the case construction, the case materials and the movement are exactly the same. It is still made out of stainless steel. It still has a ceramic bezel insert, 120 click unidirectional. It is still powered by the Celita SW300 automatic movement, 56 hours of power reserve, beating at 28,800 vibrations per hour. And it still comes with that proprietary technology where you can pop out the bezel and replace it very easily. In fact, this model is available in so many different colors. I actually really like this green one. I think that looks very sharp. Another proprietary technology that Formax has is their quick release system on the bracelet and on the straps. I tried that system and it is super easy to use. One of the best implementations of the system I've seen in a watch in a while. The pricing ranges from 1,630 euros for the NATO strap version all the way up to 1,930 euros for the version on the stainless steel bracelet. I think that's the version to go for. The one I reviewed was on the stainless steel bracelet and I really, really liked those bracelets. They're very comfortable and they complete the look of this watch. So I'm a huge fan of this release. Furlan Mary Flyback Chronograph. So Furlan Mary is kind of a new brand in the watch industry. It was started by a few very knowledgeable watch enthusiasts. There is an article on Houdinki, which I will leave linked in the description below that goes into the details behind this brand. I think the history and the people behind it are very fascinating. In 2021, they came out with a mega quartz version of a chronograph, and that version was very successful. Now they're introducing a flyback chronograph one, and I think this trio of watches looks really, really good. There are three different dial options, gray one, blue one, and a pink or salmon dial. That one is actually my favorite and they are a limited edition, 300 pieces for each version. But the way they're split up, it's 270 pieces for each individual version 
and 30 sets. So you can buy these watches as a set of three for those of us who really love the design and want to have all three. There is a lot to like about this watch. First of all, I love the design. It harkens back to the 1950s and 1960s vintage chronograph watches. It has a little bit of the Patek design language. It has that vintage inspired style, which I'm all for. I love the layout of the dial that by compax design without a date very clean it has the pulsation scale which is not the most useful function but it does look really cool the watch also comes with a vintage inspired case size 38 millimeters diameter only 13.2 millimeters in case thickness because this one is powered by the manual wind movement it's powered by the Celita caliber amt 5100 which is a flyback chronograph movement with 58 hours of power reserve and a beat rate of 28,800 vibrations per hour. The company actually did some decorating on the back and I think it looks even better than the original movement does. And of course you have a display case back to admire it. These watches have is what I thought was a reasonable price, 2,750 Swiss francs per watch. It doesn't matter which one you choose or 8,250 euros for all three as a set. I think it's expensive, yes, but for these type of specs, for this look, I think it's reasonable enough. And there's actually another chronograph that I want to mention that is similar to this and comes at a similar price. The new Arane Type 21 chronograph. Arane is one of these companies with a fascinating history. They were bought and sold a few times and now the current ownership is trying to recreate some of their most iconic watches. The Type 20 is arguably their most iconic watch. As the story goes, during World War II, French Air Force contracted a few different watchmakers to create a pilot's chronograph for them. There were a few different requirements that this watch had to pass, so a few different contracts were awarded, including to companies like Breguet and Arane. Later on, as the watches have evolved, there was a Type 21, a 21st edition of this watch, if you will, and that's what this one is. So Orain actually already has a Type 20, and this is Type 21, but it is very similar to Type 20. There isn't as big of a difference between Type 20 and Type 21 as it was with the vintage versions of these watches. Now it's slight cosmetic changes. The watch comes in a very reasonable 39.5 millimeter case diameter. It has a 47 millimeter lock to lock distance, but it's a bit on the thicker side, 14.7 millimeters thickness. I'm not exactly sure why it's so thick because the previous watch that we mentioned is powered by the same movement, but it comes way thinner. Uh, and it doesn't even have a crazy water resistance or anything like that. This one comes with 50 meters of water resistance, just like the previous chronograph that we talked about. This watch is powered by the same flyback chronograph version of the Celita movement, beating at 28,800 vibrations per hour and having 63 hours of power reserve. I think this watch looks excellent. It's a very faithful recreation of the original from 1940s and 1950s. And I think the price is also somewhat reasonable. 2,950 euros for this watch, including the 21% Dutch VAT. So if you're buying it from outside of Europe, I think you'll pay a little bit less for the watch. You'll just pay your local taxes. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but nevertheless, I think the watch is reasonably priced. What do you guys think? Leave a comment in the comment section below. And moving on to the next and last release that we're going to talk about, the new Bulgari Aluminium and Gran Turismo Special Edition Chronograph Watches. Bulgari Aluminium is an existing collection within Bulgari lineup of watches. Its claim to fame is the fact that the watch cases are made out of aluminum, a metal that's not commonly associated with luxury timepieces. Usually you would think of stainless steel or maybe exotic metals like uh, titanium or ceramic, but in this case it's aluminum, uh, which is very soft, so I don't really get uh, the, the reason to use it. Yes, it's lightweight, but titanium is probably a better choice. These watches also come with a rubber bezel and a titanium case back. This new release is a collaboration between Bulgari and Gran Turismo video game. I never played this video game, but I know it's very popular. It's basically a driving simulation and there are tournaments around it. I think there's like a World Cup or something like that. There was a movie that came out earlier this year. So clearly there is a lot of marketing being spent behind Gran Turismo as a entity, as a brand, if you will. Bulgari partnering up with them 
kind of makes sense, but also it doesn't really. I see brands like Dorito Chips and Coca-Cola partnering up with these video games, but for a luxury brand to partner up with a video game, I don't know, it doesn't really work for me, but let me know what you guys think. Do you think it makes sense or not? So this whole collaboration is that the first 30 watches being sold come with an exclusive hypercar within the video game. It's not a real car, it's a car that's been designed specifically for this video game. And I think it's just eh, to spend 5,200 euros and uh, to be the first 30 people in order to buy this watch, which I think looks kind of ugly, and to get this digital version of a car, kind of, eh, who cares? But to my surprise, I went on Bulgari's website and it seems like these watches sold out. The yellow version is limited to 500 pieces and seems like that version is all gone. The other version with a darker dial and yellow accents is limited to 1200 pieces and seems like they still have that version available. The watches are powered by the Caliber B381 automatic chronograph movement, which is essentially a modified Celita SW300, 28,800 vibrations per hour and 42 hours of power reserve is what you will find with this watch. I'm not a huge fan of this release personally. I don't like how the watch looks and I think it's too expensive, but I just wanted to bring it up in this video because I think it's very interesting that a luxury brand like Bulgari is partnering up with one of their uh, collections with a video game. Uh, I, I think it's interesting. I don't know if we're gonna see more of that, I guess depending on how this collaboration goes. But do you think it cheapens the brand or not? Leave your comments in a comment section below. And that's it. Those were the releases that I wanted to mention this week. Thanks for watching this video all the way until the end. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more videos like this, and leave a comment in a comment section below. Let me know what you thought about this week's releases. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.